Hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining you the problem painting with colors and it was asked in code forces for around uh, 1045 uh, for division 2. So let's read out the problem. Uh, we have you are given three positive integers n, a and b uh, wherein a and b lies in between 1 and n. Okay, so uh, a and b is in the bond of n. Consider row of n cells initially all white and index from 1 to n okay you will perform the following two steps in order <coughs> choose an integer x such that x is greater than equals to 1 less than equals to n minus a plus 1 okay so this uh, implies you should be within the bound i'll tell you and paint a consecutive cells which is from x to x plus 1 up till x plus a minus 1 uh, with red color Choose an integer y such that y is greater than equals to 1 less than n minus b plus 1 and paint b consecutive cells from y till y plus b minus 1 uh, with the color blue. And that said, if a cell is painted both red and blue, its final color is blue. So blue is superior than red. So in this case, um, since we'll be painting, you know, in the order, first we'll be painting red. And if let's say one cell is painted with red and if you want to paint with blue, you, you will be... Uh, painting that cell with blue and at the end blue will be uh, will be its final color of the cell. So <coughs> a coloring of the grid is considered symmetric if for every integer i from 1 to n inclusive the color of the i is same as the color of the cell n plus 1 minus i. Okay, You would ask you to determine whether there exists integer x and y such that the final coloring of the grid is symmetric. Okay, so cool let's see they can say examples let's understand the first example they've been 5 3 1 so they have given 5 3 1 then they have given n as 5 a as 3 and b as 1 <coughs> so what they're saying is initially we have uh, you know n cells um, and its number is from you know uh, this n is from uh, not uh, like uh, there are basically n files and uh, indexed indexed from uh, 1 to n it is not a zero based indexing let's say n is 5 so you will be having 5 cells so you have 5 cells and its index will be 1 2 3 4 5 in this way so you have 5 cells that is a thing and the have said is you need to color a number of cells with red color and you need to color b number of cells with blue color and the order should be this way first you need to color red and and you should uh, next you should color with blue and initially all cells are white initially this if you see all the cells are white now <coughs> what they're asking is you need to choose an integer x in case of uh, coloring a when you are coloring with red a number of cells you need to choose an integer x and uh, when you are coloring with blue uh, b cells b number of cells you will have to choose integer y so if there exist integer x and y such in such a way that when you color with red and blue and after coloring you will be comparing the first cell with the last one so you will be comparing this cell with this one this cell with this one and this is the final cell so if you uh, happens to come out that these cell colors are same then uh, uh, like this is a valid uh, you can basically form the you know uh, palindromic uh, thing so they have said in the question so you will have to output yes if you can make symmetric uh, symmetric cells meaning uh, if you try to draw a line so you will be having this exact same colors on both the left and right side so that is symmetric <coughs> so in this case you'll have to return yes so uh, i've not uh, i'm not explaining the problem like uh, let me go to the specific problem so what they're saying is you have five cells numbered from one two three four five now what you will have to do is you have n 
five cells that is fine now you will have to uh, color three uh, cells because a number of cells will be colored with red and you will have to choose index x let me choose index x as starting position this one you will have to color with uh, x plus 1 uh, x plus a minus 1 you will have to co color t from x to x plus a minus 1 so what is a here 3 so it uh, x i've chosen is 2 so if you take 2 plus 3 minus 1 that is 4 so you will have to color till fourth index with the uh, you'll have to color with the uh, red color so let's say i'm coloring this these three cells i've colored these three cells with red color let me call red right <coughs> and now they're saying you'll have to choose index y in such a way that one cell will be coloring with blue let, let's say i choose uh, this index as y wherein y is 3 and you will have to color till y plus b minus 1 so y is 3 b is 1 in the question that i've given so it is 3 only so only one cell will be coloring and in the question they have said when you're coloring with blue and if that uh, cell is color colored with red so your final cell color will be blue right so you have blue so now <coughs> this is the final color all these are white and this is blue and uh, these two are red so if you try to see you have a symmetric white is equals to y uh, first element and last element are equal now if you come to uh, one on distance behind and forward so you have red and you have blue here uh, which is only one so if you try to draw a line you have symmetric you have red white and red white like if you try to read from left uh, right to left you will be reading right uh, red white and if you try to read from left to right again red white so basically this is a metric in this case you'll have to output yes right so i think uh, this is the problem statement anything wrong so let me take one more example four two one So let me, this is the first example, this is the second example, 4, 2, 1 we have, this is N, this is A, this is B. So take 4 cells, 1, 2, 3, 4, initially all are white, now we will have to take index X, find index X and find index Y. So let's say you find index X at this position, so now you will be coloring this with red. You have got but you let's say you choose index y now this is index x if you choose index y <coughs> let's say you choose index y at this position so your final uh, array will be of this kind and since there are even number of cells if you try to draw a line in between so these are not symmetric here you have red here you have blue so this is not a valid uh, you know uh, symmetric it is not symmetrical so in this case you will have to return no so one more question comes like why you are uh, taking y at this position why can't you take at other position even if you take at other position so let's say after doing this operation you have this array now let's try to put uh, blue color at this position still you have unsymmetric right so in this thing if you try to see uh, the main crux of the problem is that you want symmetric so <coughs> one thing uh, you will have to do is see anyway this color red whatever you're doing that is basically hidden by the blue color right so now if you try to observe uh, this is the main thing you have uh, four cells and uh, like this uh, this is even number and b is the color like blue color and this will be at the end like uh, even if you color red, uh, a cell with red and if you color the same color with blue, blue will be visible to you <coughs> as said in the question. So if you try to say you have four cells and uh, when you're coloring with blue, you have only one which is odd. So if that is the case, then your symmetric is not possible because in order to do a symmetric coloring, uh, you will be always choosing from the center. Whichever color they'll give, you'll always try to color from the center because if you color at the ends, the other end you will not be having the same color that's why symmetric will not be possible so greedily you will be choosing the center cells and coloring but in this case if you see 
n is uh, even and uh, b i mean blue color which is odd so in this case it is not possible possible so let's try to build pseudo code in the uh, say, uh, like whenever i mean in the go or let, let us try to build a pseudo code so you have found out that if uh, modulus are not same n and b so in that case your uh, answer will be no so we'll be comparing n modulo 2 if it is equals to b modulo 2 so we will would be doing something but let us leave uh, for now else which means both has <coughs> you know different uh, like even and odd is there so in that case your it is not possible let's say your n is 5 you have five uh, cells but let's say your b is 2 in this case so you will be uh, your half cell is this one right so this is a mid cell now if you color two cells mid cell you will be coloring right and in the question they have said you have to color the continuous cells if it ever it if you're like you know you, you need to color two cells you could have done blue color here and blue color here and uh, now it is symmetric but they have said you have to do continuous coloring so if you want to do continuous coloring so you will have to choose the middle one and either left or right so since n is uh, odd and b is even it is not possible possible that's why uh, i have written the condition if the both has a similar uh, you know uh, like both are same even number odd number in that case we will be doing something but if they're uh, modulus are not same meaning if they are even and odd so in that case you will have to print no directly you will have to print no so <coughs> yeah this is first thing <coughs> now let's start to build one more thing now uh, if you want to see in the first case both have same modulus right which means both are even number so if you try to draw five cells and uh, you have uh, blue color as one so you can uh, color it in, in the center uh, so you will go in this condition now uh, one more thing you'll have to check is that you will have to check this uh, you know uh, even and odd with this also with a because in order to make symmetric uh, both these should have uh, either even or odd only so in this case if we say both are odd so you will be basically coloring uh, three cells with red right and you have white here and uh, that is possible and blue color will be coloring in the center so one more in if condition if both b and a has uh, same uh, parity then in that case we'll be checking if n modulo um, 2 is equals to a modulo 2 which means both has same parity if both has same parity now you will be uh, you can directly color it no matter uh, n uh, like a is smaller than b or b is smaller than a it doesn't matter because let's say a is greater than b so if a is greater than b this is the case wherein you can see red colors blue color in the center when n is equals to b so all let's say b is 3 here a is 3 b is 3 so all color will be blue only again uh, you have symmetric let's say b is greater than a so in that case uh, since it has same parity so let's say your b is 5 right so if b is 5 so all color will be blue and you have a same parity right i mean uh, symmetric so when <coughs> both the modulus i mean both have same uh, parity even and not so you will have to print yes else uh, we'll have to find out uh, what we'll have to do it so okay so uh, let's say you have different parity here right now uh, let's say you have a as 2 so if you don't have uh, if you have a as 2 so uh, it depends on no b right let's say uh, i'm creating one example wherein n is 5 a is 2 and b is 3 <coughs> so now what will be doing you will have to create first five cells right and now uh, you will be coloring uh, with two 
two with red colors let's say i'll color this this cell and you have uh, three uh, cells as blue now you'll be coloring from the center this is our blue and this is white so th that is symmetric right so uh, now when in the if these two has same parity then you'll go into that loop if this and two does not have same parity so uh, now you'll have to check the condition if a is lesser than equals to b so in that case b will be at the front and it will take care of the symmetry so you'll have to check in here now else if a is lesser than equals to b so in that case you'll have to print yes you can have a symmetric else if a is greater which means it is uh, it does not have same parity so you'll be printing no i think uh, you guys got to know how to you know solve this so basically it was easy only checking basically the even and not and doing it so what i have is here i have written this code let me try to write it one more time so the give test cases and n a b you have n a b n a b now you'll have to print the outputs now you'll have to check first if n modulo 2 is equals to b modulo 2 which means both are same parity so our answer will be possible else if there's not a same parity our answer will not be possible in this case uh, you'll have to output no <coughs> when n and n and b are same parity you'll have to check with the parity of a if n modulo 2 is equals to a modulo 2 which means red color have and same parity with the size of the cell so in this case your answer is possible yes we'll have to print else if you'll have to check if a is lesser than equals to b because uh, in this case both have same parity so b will take care of the symmetric so if a even a is lesser than or equals to b so you don't need to worry you'll have to print yes because your answer is possible symmetric is possible else uh, your symmetric is not possible <coughs> let's try to run it yeah it got passed print with two colors let's try to, let's try to submit um one second oh, where we have paint paint with colors let's try to submit actually yesterday i couldn't shoot the video um i had some health issue just give me a second i don't know why it is taking time Yeah, it got accepted so i think uh, you guys got to know how to solve this so it was easy only uh, basically you have to check the um, parity of the size of the cell and uh, the cell that will be coloring with uh, blue and red so in this way you could have uh, easily solved the problem so that's it guys thank you for watching the video